different questions. Like what's some questions that they should an- that someone should answer and what's some that maybe they should reserve their right to maybe not answer or, you know, not give any information that may be used against them? Well, you definitely don't need to tell them that you're coming from a bar. Okay. Okay. If they ask you if you come, you know, coming from a restaurant or, or anything like that, you don't have to answer that. Okay. You can, you can literally say, I prefer not to answer that. Okay. Um, but as far as, you know, license and registration, obviously give that to, to the officer. Um, you know, if he asks you, do you still live at this address? That's on your license. Yes. I mean, you know, be truthful with the officer, but like I said, limit your, your communication with them. Okay. So if they've asked you, you know, Mr. Bartholomew, have you been drinking? Definitely say no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Or, or, or say, I prefer not to answer. Yeah. Uh, I've done a little bit of this prior. And so I, I do remember, you know, many, many cases where someone's already basically uh, closed the book on their file uh, by saying the standard, oh, I had a few or I had a couple. Yeah. At it, dinner it, or, it, yeah. It's, all, it's always two drinks. Always two. It's always that's two. a magical number uh, that's going to keep you out of jail. Okay. So, you know, as far as answering the questions, that kind of answered that. Um, well, actually, let me ask you this. Well, what about Miranda? You know, is someone under arrest at this point, or or should they have Miranda rights? Well, I I get this I get this call a lot. Okay. Um, so many of my clients, not just with DUI, but so many of my clients ask, uh, well, they didn't read read Miranda to me. Mm-hmm. All right. It's a little bit different with the DUI. DUI, the statute says that it has to be read at the inter, uh, at the incident site location. All right. So at that traffic stop, if you're under arrest, Miranda has to be heard and read to you. Okay. Uh, but in a typical situation, Miranda only comes into play during custodial interrogation. Now, that doesn't mean physically in handcuffs and, and carted off into an interrogation room. Uh, that's typically what most people, that's typically where it comes into play. Mm-hmm. Um, but custodial interrogation can can literally be on the side of the road, pulled out, pulled out of your vehicle, they have your license, and they start asking you a series of questions. Um, that's when Miranda really comes into play. Okay. All right. So... Whether or not they've been given those rights or not, they still have the right. Right, they to still not have incriminate those themselves and and not give more evidence that's going to be used. Right, and them. and essentially, if Miranda is not read to you, but you are questioned, it becomes a subject of suppression mm-hmm. of getting those statements suppressed. Now, in a DUI, if Miranda is not heard on the on the actual video body cam dash cam, if it's not heard, then there is a motion to be made that could lead to a dismissal of the case. Okay, all right. <laughs>